hi guys welcome back to my channel today um i'm going to be showing you guys what i consider like the worst time of my life the period where i was house hunting in lagos nigeria my focus was lagos mainland because um my life revolved around the uh, mainland my workplace was on the mainland and all of that and <laughs> yeah you're you're looking at some of the clips of the places that i visited when i was house hunting and this was the very one of the not the very first place i saw but one of the places that i saw but the location was terrible now this is another place i saw they were also building but then what I learned from people that I asked, I was told that all these legal houses that they are refurbishing or rebuilding, always terrible to parents because anything can honestly happen and um, they will not refund your money on time. Sometimes they will give you a specific date to move in and will never stick to that date. Um, so these apartments, I, I met someone who had already taken some one of the apartments, but it just wasn't for me okay so this is the exterior of the apartment that you just saw it was located somewhere in unipan it was a really bad environment now this one oh my god you guys look at this a septic tank is broken there's a septic tank right in front of the house it has this corridor like thing that for the life of me i couldn't understand had one window one window for the two rooms my goodness and then the rooms were not divided by blocks or anything they they had this wooden divide all these things you're looking at are like wood wood painted um had just one window the compound was an eyesore everything was just so terrible had a lot of repairs to be done but well, the compound was my major problem my god and then the poor ventilation so i didn't go with these apartments as well Yep, I didn't go to this apartment as well. It was it was a very good location in Anthony, but man, the compound was a mess. So I I just couldn't go with it. I I just could not go with it. Oh my god! Oh my goodness! Compound was such a hot hot mess. It was like a barrack. <laughs> okay, so this is another one. This was somewhere around Ojota, Okudu Axis. My God, this house was a nightmare. It wasn't tiled. They were refurbishing the place. Had a very spacious kitchen, which was the one thing that I loved about this place. But every other thing was zero. Behind the house was a canal sort of thing. Yeah, and um, well, there were a lot of things wrong with this house. I can't. I don't know. A lot of things wrong. And um, it apparently has was the place that caught fire before i don't know if you can see the the ceiling had caught fire before terrible electrical wiring and all of that so of course this wasn't an option and then the location was terrible so i didn't go with it as well look so much patch and all of that we were just trying to make the house presentable but well, i kid you know it was like a refuse dump this next house was somewhere called alakpere kitsu <laughs> and i kid you know that's the gates to the house that's the exterior they were refurbishing the house i saw a lot of refurbished houses they were refurbishing this house and that's the entrance to the house i i'm not kidding that's the entrance to the house of course it was a no I, I guess the reason why they had a small entrance was because look at those other gates are like for shops and stuff you get so this was just the only entrance there's a major gate there but that major gate doesn't lead to the upstairs which was a flat that i wanted to take now this is another house as well in Kate Salak Pere. Um you can see the smile on her face. Uh she was at house hunting with me because this was one of the only presentable houses that we saw. The kitchen wasn't very spacious, but compared to what we've seen before, we're grateful for this. Um yeah. 
So this, they were still working on the place and there was no guarantee that we could move in by the time we wanted. So we just sort of didn't go with this place. And then it was, it was really far from work and um, all of that. So despite the house being a little bit presentable, better than what we've seen in the past, we still could not go for this one because of the distance and then the the exterior of the house the area where the house is located my god the road is not good um so many things are just wrong with that area so this was a no-no not like a no-no this was a no but we're considering it but the distance was the major problem as you can see they were reworking the entire place they, they were working on the entire house, so that's me in the mirror. <laughs> that's probably the only time I can see in, in this entire video. Um, I said the mirror, the window rather. Ah, okay. So this is another house located somewhere in Ogudu. This house, let me tell you guys, that out of desperation, I was ready to pay for this house and tile it myself and refurbish it. Well, we thank God because God is God. And they refused to give me the house based on the fact that I um, it was like a tribal thing. Guys, look at how low that toilet seat was. I don't know what I was thinking. Like watching this video, I'm just so grateful I didn't go for this house because at that point, it, it, it looked spacious. So I just said, okay, I'll have to spend lots of money like to fix up the place but it, it's something that could be fixed yeah because it was spacious and i think because it was like the most spacious house that i've seen in my whole house hunting but my goodness could have cost me like half a million to even fix this place up up despite like after having paid rent look at the tiles broken um the um, water system everything was just so fucked so wrong i'm sorry i almost used this swear word everything was just so wrong with this house anyway now this is the exterior of the house you just saw they were trying to fix up the compound and all that here my goodness how did i almost settle for this place i have no idea see what desperation in lagos can cause because this place looks so terrible now that i'm putting this video together but i kid you not that i was actually contemplating taking this place and fixing it up and paying for it so um the so this was it this was the house had this thing that i didn't i don't know what was there and some stuff but that's just about it the compound wasn't the, so bad itself but the house was a no no so this is me and this is the exterior of the house yeah this is what the compound looked like now this one was the one that the last straw basically the house looks good but if you look out through the window you will see that there's a huge canal just behind this house and the house was collapsing guys i finished seeing this house and i stood on the street and i shed tears i cried so bad and i decided that oh shit i was just going to remain at home and not try to move because i was just seeing too many shitty things my budget was about 600 500 600 thousand for a mini flat which so 600k um then total package because in lagos they pay things like agents and agreements so total package was about 800k that was my budget but guys i still didn't see anything reasonable and that's when i just knew that lagos was the absolute ghetto yep <laughs> lagos was the absolute ghetto and it hurt me so bad that there were so many shitty houses see i saw many more houses but these were the ones that i had clips of and these were the ones that really fit into this video because it's supposed to be like the worst houses that i saw yeah so it was it took me three months of house hunting and all of that it was it was a nightmare guys <laughs>